Okay, I think we're live, YouTube. Okay, so you want ID, Zoom ID is six. Six one two one eight nine seven one seven five. All right, so you guys can join in. You can join in on Zoom. All right. Okay, so I believe you guys got that. So uh, some of you will be missing out on the phone, but I think the first part you can still enjoy, but the link is actually there. It's already there. So I try my, I try my best as uh, to get Get everything set before I start to pass out the knowledge because why? If I do that, we'll be missing missing out on some nuggets because I want this to be recorded, all right, for use purpose. So uh what's the last thing I want to do? Okay, guys. So everybody have a fair opportunity to also be here in the group, all right. We're also streaming live on YouTube. For those of you in YouTube, you can actually put your name, your location, put in those excitement. The truth is I super want to welcome eight and every one of you. My name is Ken Brimo. All right. As always, every Friday we get to have fun, you know, uh, uh, getting to learn about the principles of trading, the environment of business, entrepreneurship in the area of the digital trading, you know, uh, uh, environment. So I, I get to share this relation. I'm always grateful for the audience you guys give to me. I'm always thankful you know for learning some of you are giving me testimony some people chat me up some people are joining in, uh, uh, in on the system you know just because they want to follow closely on how to become successful in this environment what i do is i major on truth when it comes to trading so i want to welcome you to this special edition how many of you are excited all right let's get into the chat all right ghana in the building kano state lagos nigeria Inugu. all right come on let's go look at some beautiful emojis on the chat lagos 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 Delta State, come on, let's go. Abuja, Enugu, Trinidad and Tobago, Lagos, Wari Delta State, Delta State, come on, let's go. You can put keep putting in the locations. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> All right, so uh, let's see. I think I can be so I have the time to see the audience on YouTube. Okay, we have Abuja. We have so many people joining in. So many people are actually leaving for. All right, just Nigeria, South Africa. So it's global. You know, what we have is, is global. So today, I want to hint you guys on, so where do we start? So I have, I have, we have three categories of the call. Okay, it's actually two categories. We have the first category to take care of the mental aspect, the psychological aspect of being successful in the environment. Then we'll move into the chat where you guys see the money all right, and see how you know the usability of trading and using a system could make you profitable all right, in trading. Now, I've got some people who have some special questions for me today. I told them to jump in here and ask these questions live here so that we could use it to help because one question could actually help a lot of people who have that same question. So today, all right, there's an addition of a QA, and a all right? Then in the mental aspect, I did something which, which was quite unique, all right? In the, I was going out yesterday, I took a picture and I shared the picture on my Instagram. And I wanted to know, all right, it's, it's actually a, a mental challenge. So if you're here, I want us to have fun, all right? And at the end of the day, some people are gonna win some, you know, a, a weekend money, okay? If, if we're going to look at the picture. In fact, I learned a lot from the picture. So in case you're here right now, you just want to log into my Instagram. 
and you look at that picture, I posted a picture. It's a, a lot of people, I know my audience, a lot of people ignored, a lot of, you know, you see one thing about social, we learn a lot. And I, want, I wanted to bring this in this special edition because I want some people, all right, not that every, any, anyone has actually gotten why I put the picture out there, but I was challenged with some answers, all right? If you actually drop a comment on, if you drop a comment on the IG, my IG post, okay. We just, that is where we're going to start from. So I believe we are ready. Are we ready to have fun? Put fun in the chat. So I want everybody to participate. Everybody has a fair chance, all right? We might be going home with some. I'm going to be inspired whatsoever I'm giving today, all right? It's not about the money. It's just the fun, mental challenge, okay? So it's, it's, it's so unique. I was just hit by the picture yesterday, and I said, let me share this with my audience. Let me, let me see what they will come up with. And I was chat. The truth is... I actually opened the door to say, oh, there are other options because the picture speaks volume. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can share the picture here right now. All right. Uh, let me find a way to share it on the screen. So I first have to send the picture to my, you guys hold on the beat. You guys might be wanting the picture. Kendra, what's the picture? Why are we, why are we talking about picture? Okay, so yes, then hold on. All right. Look insignificant but powerful. All right. Put phone on the chat. I'm not getting the phone. What's happening? Okay, so I got option open. All right, so this is it. And let's share. Okay, good. <laughs> so are you guys ready for the phone? So let's put phone on the chat if you're ready for the phone. Let me share the picture. Okay. Uh, share the picture. Okay, good. So we have the picture. How many of you are seeing the picture right now? You can see the picture right now. Let me know. All right. Put a picture. If you can see if what you're seeing is the picture, let me know in the chat. I told you guys, if you're not participating, I dropped the link, it pinned on the group. You guys could join in on, on um, you can join in so that we know we're facing one audience. But if you want to witness out here, I know some of you already, I can see some names that are here, but I also here. Okay, good. You guys are seeing this, let me know. Let me know what you guys are seeing. Not yet, okay, no. All right, let me, let me share that again. Let me share that again, let me share that again. What are you guys seeing? Okay. I'm getting a feedback that has okay. All right. We're seeing it on YouTube. All right, good. I believe you guys are seeing now. Are you guys seeing now? So this is this is gonna be fun. It's it's a little gonna be fast, all right. But I already had some comment. If you had the comment. If I put a face, you know that emoji with a face that I do like this, uh, uh, kind of, mm -hmm. all right. If I did it on your comment on my Instagram, I need you to, to, to just raise your hand. Okay, if you're here, all right. Raise your hand. So let's go. Um, okay, that's a second. All right, you raised your hand. Okay, good. Just raise your hand, put it there. If, 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 if I did that, please. What's your Instagram name? Just type it. All right, so I know I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look. Okay, I'm also gonna do something right now. Okay, I think the better thing to do is this. Guys, hold on. I'm gonna log in with my phone so that we, we, we look at the comments together. Uh, that is the better thing to do. All right, so I'll stop sharing with this. Let's go to IG and let's go to the picture. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Just a moment. I want to share. 
when we learn, we also have fun. It's good we have fun. So I want to ah, collapse. All right. So guys, let me know if you see my screen now. Okay, put, put my screen if you're seeing my screen now. Let me know. Okay. All right, good. Okay, put screen on the chat if you're seeing the screen. Amazing, beautiful. So what I want us to do is just take the next one, two minutes. Look at this picture, all right? So I asked two questions. So the, the, the challenge was this. Okay, describe the thoughts on the picture. Okay, just look at the picture. All right, I, I believe. Okay, let me first say the two questions, then you look at the picture. Take out a minute. Don't be in a hurry. Take out a minute. Allow your mind to be involved. All right, it's so powerful. That's what we're going to share on today. All right, so describe the thought on the, describe your thoughts on the thought of this picture. So, why I use the word the thought? I have to put this picture. What do you think is the thought around this picture? All right, then what's the focus? Okay, what's the focus? All right, so challenge starts now. So I'm gonna go, this is the picture. All right, I hope you guys are seeing it well. If you're not seeing it well, maybe because I'm sharing here, you could go on my Instagram, I am Kendrick. All right, you could look at it, look at a picture and tell me, just put it on the chat, all right? I'm just gonna give you guys five minutes, all right? You just look at it. And you guys have, some of you have an opportunity to win, you know, some weekend money, all right? Just by participation. Again, I'm not leaving those of you uh, also on, I, uh, on, on uh and in case you are you're here on youtube okay I'm, I'm pasting the link to the live this is the link to my live right now you can copy the link and join all right it's open you guys can watch you guys can join us so let's go if you already commented you can actually copy your comment and put it here okay let's have Fun with this. Okay, we may take a little while today, but I just wanted in this special edition, I wanted us to 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 dig deep. All right, have some fun, make some money. So uh, I want to find a way to be reading the comments. Okay, good. So Shanice Taste said, "Be taught in the picture. It's a vision. All right, a look into the future, and the focus is." Securing wealth for <laughs> generations. Okay. All right. Thank you for those thoughts. See so the baby at the back seat. So two things I asked. The two questions is what's the thought on the picture? All right. Then the second thing is what's the picture focused on? Okay. It's a challenge. <laughs> so picture the word challenge. Why is it so easy? But it's a challenge. All right. So go, go hit it. So yeah, are they doing Elizabeth? Okay, you just copy. Is there a way you can copy your comments? All right, and put it here. All right. Your son, I am KJ Billion sleeping. The baby on the back seat is the focus. Are you all right? Okay. I know many people are gonna get the second one. So let let's let's. I'm already even I'm already giving a mark on that. All right. So the thought, so I need you guys to focus on the first question, which is the thought on the picture, okay? Now, what was originally in my mind, okay? I think only two people got close, but something different. But I, when I saw what it is they said, I wanted to dwell on it, all right? So let's just look at that. Thought, I like the car. But I think it's time to go to the to, <laughs> to higher level. All right. Frank Gunstead said, the baby is the focus, you're right, on this picture. I might thought it's about how this, the future of little kings, and how bright it is. Okay. Uh, 
Thank you for the comment. So the family is everything. Thank you for the comment. I couldn't, I couldn't copy it. Too. Okay. Um, copy it. Okay, that's true. You can copy. All right. Uh, it's your comment. Okay. We still have about three minutes. You could just look at it, duplicate it, and and just drop it. All right. But did I put a face? Did I put a face? If I put a face, I'm going to give you an opportunity to actually speak. All right. If I put so two, I, I believe I put two people face on two people. All right. Am, is my am I breaking him I believe my internet is good, right? Okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So, your son is rest assured that with you at the wheel, he is as safe as the Lord protecting his children. Focus is your son. That's a beautiful one. All right. It's I, you know that's why I said when I when I was looking at it when I was looking at it, um, it begins to show different variation to the picture itself. Okay. So that's a that that's a beautiful one. Uh, the picture is focused. You said the picture is fo focused on the car. Okay. <laughs> the one on the, the thought on the picture. This is by B. The thought on the picture is that. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um. I want to. Okay. Let me let me first read. Let me first read so that I don't give people clues. <laughs> okay. The thought on the picture is that it's too risky driving while using. <laughs> well done. Okay. Okay. The focus is the baby. Okay. That was good. All right. Taking a pause through the traffic, your blessings, and being grateful, and being grateful. And the focus is looking on the future that the baby is in the back seat. Sweet, all right, sweet, but a little away. All right, I'm grateful for the future is bright. Okay, the thought on the picture is about growth. Okay, all right, that's what I'm just gonna do so that because of time. All is set for forward progress or movement and the mirror, uh, Okay, the thought on the picture is that it's too risky. Okay, my thoughts are about living a good life. And my being steadfast, we have the highest possibility of leaving a legacy for our children. Or not. You have to look at the picture, you know, look at the detail of the picture and look at the focus of the picture. What does it tell you? I'm not, I'm trying to put, I'm not giving a clue. All right. Yes, put your, put, Yes, put, yes, put, you put a face in my comment. Okay, yes, you put a face in my comment. All right, so and I'm, I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak it out. All right, so just keep your hand raised, okay? If I put a face on your comment, a face on your comment, just let me know, raise your hand, okay? All right. The thought is that the baby is sleeping, being very assured of safety today and wear promise tomorrow. Okay, the thought on the picture is that when you look back when you are young and no, yes, but the face, okay. Yes, you put a face in my comment. That's Christian Obina. All right, you said I put a face in your comment, raise your hand so that I could, let me make you a course, all right? I'll, I'll make you a course, Christian Obina. All right, I'll make you a course. So, so uh, you guys are gonna speak, okay. The focus is the baby at the back is sleeping. And my thought is we came a long way back. Okay. Visualizing the future, looking back and seeing how far, looking into the mirror, your son can, you can see his future in his dad. That's beautiful though. The thought showed you got him covered. Number one, okay, you finally pitch. Number one, no matter the environment that surrounds you, when you when you know who is at the driver's seat, you experience. I'm going to skip that. I comment on Instagram. All right, he said I comment on Instagram. What's the comment? The focus is the baby. I already gave you. So I did only. All right, I already gave you. You're going to speak on that. Okay. Uh, the thought of the picture is the traffic, and the focus is the baby. There is a set alarm for entry point. 
<laughs> Where is that coming from? Are you trading? Okay, your baby is the focus. That's true. Building a better legacy for them. The thought showed you got him covered. All right. So, okay, I think I've, I've looked through. Still, so far, so good. I still got those. The only, uh, yeah. The future, the, the mirror shows the master. Of the... Okay. First, thought is imagination of buying a new bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i've been reading you guys chat here okay let me see what those uh on youtube are saying if they, they, they put anything out there a well ven venerated expensive car thought the family is everything okay after after the phone baby tried <laughs> okay vision of all right so i think we are done so far so good we come to uh yeah i say so far so good all right it's a picture of the future thought okay good so let me so visualizing the future and how best to focus on it and giving security to the child based on the direction of the focus visualizing the future and how best to focus on it, giving security to the child based on the direction of the focus. That's a beautiful one also, but it's kind of, you know, neither there or here. All right, the thought of the picture is the difference you have made when you have looked back in time and see the man you have become today. You know, so this is, this is fulfilling. Just looking at that, that it's, um, it makes, it gives another meaning, actually, to another beautiful meaning to the picture. All right, and that is going to be that's going to be talked on today. So I'm going to give. Are they doing? You can actually unmute yourself. I made you a co-host. Someone has raised their hand. I didn't make it. Uh, I think I only put two pictures. Okay, I only pick two pictures. Are they doing? All right, I need you to just probably talk on um, kind of experience. Just explain why you had that mindset. Just say what okay. you do so that people know what why I, I kind of considered it. Though that was not my mind on the picture, but kind of got me. All right. So just just say it and maybe add yourself to it. Just say something about your answer. Okay. Um good evening, everyone. From this part of um Lagos, Nigeria. I'm super excited, first of all. I'm D. <laughs> no mind my excitement. So sorry. So sorry. Um, thank you for the privilege to be on this call. Okay, so um, when I saw the picture yesterday, what actually came to my mind first was, you know, I saw the child in the background and obviously from the mirror, I could see you holding the phone, like you had the driver's seat, like you were on the steering. So that was a picture I saw. And I also looked and I saw a lot of vehicles around. So the first thing that came to my mind was, wow, okay, this baby's sleeping. And uh, the baby's not even aware of what's going on around. So the first thing that came to my mind in the trading environment in life is sometimes you actually just need to focus on your journey. Like your destination is the goal. And um, the baby's all scared. That's because there's this confidence, like, okay, yeah, my dad has got me. So he's not even aware of the storms and everything. So it just, you know, clicked in my mind, like, okay, sometimes when you know you've got God in the driver's seat of your life, you just have a plan, just go ahead. And I was actually trading. So that thing just came to my mind that, okay, sometimes you could be scared of the market moves, but then you have a trading plan, you have a strategy, just go ahead <laughs> and place the trade and watch it play out based on you know, the, the principle. So that was what actually clicked. That was why I said, um, when you know who is in charge, of course, you can focus. As I said, the focus is on your journey, not the environment. You can create an environment out of chaos, right? Because um, being in a traffic situation is something you cannot control, but the one you can control, you can just focus on it. So I think that's my take. Ah, Coach Henry, thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> Okay, if I say something now, it's going to look like, um, I'm not going to say it, but let's just keep that thought. 
All right. Are you guys excited about that thought? Just let me know. So, uh, uh, Chris, Christian Obi, I made you a co host. Okay. Just come here, talk about your thought. All right. Talk about your thought. Okay. I'm going to say something. Let's just hold the thought on what she said right now. Okay. Actually, I must be very honest with you. If I never give you this opportunity to speak on your thoughts, all right, I probably wouldn't have seen it beyond. If it's just the right thing, I probably may think, okay, it was not connected to what I was thinking, all right? But uh, I hold a thought on that. Let's hear from um, Obina. Obina, you said I put a face, all right? So I put a face to your, this, what was your comment? Yes, um, good evening, Kerry. Good evening, good evening everybody. Good evening. I don't know if you guys can all hear me. Yes, I can. I'm so happy to be in this call this evening. I, I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. And thank everybody once again. Um, I'm going to say exactly what I wrote on the comments based on your post on Instagram. All right? You know, I've been following you for a while now, and I do jump on your classes, and I do jump on your live trainings, especially the Friday evening. And um, before you go into um, the training aspect, you always talked about what the mindset, all right? I understand that. First of all, I understand love is spiritual. That, that, that's the one thing. And um, if love is spiritual, that means man has to be spiritually connected first, then before we can execute on the physical. So when I saw, when I saw the post, when I saw the picture, and I saw you holding the phone with the baby at the back, I said first, this has a significance to do because one, the baby at the back is relaxed and is comfortable. Why you being the father is driving. I looked at this thought. I said, this is, and this is an example of what's going on in life. Like you are representing a God there and your son is representing we, all right? So I was saying that, I was thinking that um, if our father, if God being our father, got the situation got the situation in control then we don't need to be troubled yes there's traffic yes a lot might be going around but the baby at the back knows that his father got him that is why he's so relaxed all right and you being the father you at a point in time you are looking at your son you know that yeah the son might not know what is going on exactly he might not know that the troubles or the, the traffic or the thing is around but you are looking at him smiling saying yes my son is relaxed because he really knows his father, he knows his father got him, he knows his father covered him. So that is how we are connected to God. If we know that God got this thing for us, even though um, the challenges around us are really, really tough, we understand and we believe that God is in control and we, go, we're not, we are not to be so anxious. We got to relax ourselves and believe the process. All right? Wow. That is how I got wow. this view. Thank you very much, Christian Chris Obina and Ade doing it. No, the truth is, this is what I want to say to the picture. All right. You know, sometimes you, you have to let yourself do some certain things so that you get you get a thought around you. Okay. And uh, I must say, if I was a guest on this call and I knew they were going to do a giveaway, what of these I probably would say is that this has been read. <laughs> All right. It was rigged in the sense that the way you guys go. You know, if I didn't give you guys room, because I, I knew why I put the face to that. Why? It kind of, that wasn't what I was looking at. The, the major thought on the picture was distraction. All right. The focus of the picture, the, the, the focus of the picture is vision. What you look at. Focus was the picture. Distraction was the snap. That, that was, that was the picture. Okay. So. That's why I added everything. I added everything. I said, okay, I want to snap a picture. I want to see what people see. I knew you guys were going to get a second one because you know my heart. I love my baby. So it was easy for you to get that. But other things were in the picture. Cars, another car in front of me. So there was distraction. But inside of the distraction, you guys were focused enough to get that. What I was looking at was the picture, was my son. That's the power of focus. So the picture itself was focus, but the expression of the picture was distraction. That is really what I wanted from the picture. So when I put a face, all right, when I put a face to what it is you guys said, it kind of connected, but in a different way, okay? It kind of connected. Even Christian Obi, 
your answer from the part of God the Father made sense in the sense that it kind of makes sense that you, you guys brought in another way of mentorship, all right, being an environment of leadership. That if you're being led, it doesn't matter. This is, so you guys talked about distraction, actually. That is why I put a face. So every answer was good. I felt so good about it. But the answers that I really wanted was, no matter how beautiful the environment you are, no matter how headed you are towards the direction you are going to, there is going to be distraction. And the only thing that will cut you away from the distraction is your focus. So I need everybody to type the word focus and distraction on chat. So that was the two things about the picture. And I'm so excited how you guys we owned it up. You owned it up and... Uh, were you guys blessed? You guys talk to me. Were you blessed with the talks? Because at the end of the day, we we get we get impacted, we get blessed. Because that is that is beauty. The, how you guys, how both of you really brought the spiritual Christian brought a spiritual aspect to it. That no matter how it is, you even talk about God, God looking back at God, you my son, sleep. That's what God wants from us. Just rest in the environment of leadership, rest in the environment of the love I've created for you. You brought a you, you brought a bigger spiritual meaning to the picture that I was wow, see this made sense. All right. And, you know, I did when you just clearly talked about you even linked it to trading that you talked about the distraction, no matter the distraction, the son is at rest. All right. He knows that he's dead. We got to our destination. Yes. We got back. Who drove? I am. All right. Who took care of the journey? Who spent the money? But because he's in the environment, you just have to enjoy. That is one of the things that mentorship gives to you. That's one of the things. You may not know what is happening to you right now. You may not know what it is that is happening. You know, you may not know what it did done, but just trust in the process. That's one of the things you guys should write down. Another thing to get from this aspect is trust in the process that the environment gives to you. You want to write that clearly. Okay, so what I'm going to do, okay, uh, I, when I do my giveaways, I always love to give Bitcoin. Bitcoin is on a high rise, so I think I can spare some right now. So for all me, your uh, I actually wanted to do a $50, okay, out. So what you do right now, I'm going to split it between the two of you. Just use that. Enjoy yourself for the weekend. But thank you for participating, all right? And uh, just send me your Bitcoin wallet address. Send it to me directly on my, uh, on my Instagram, okay? And just use that to, to enjoy yourself for the weekend. Are you guys excited? Do you guys have fun? Did you guys have fun with that? All right? Did you guys have fun? So, yeah, yeah, it's always beautiful to look look at things. Now, the, the truth is, what, what's the whole ex essence of this, all right? Everything is sending you a message. Everything is talking to you, all right? Everything is a message to where is it you're going. Some of you are in this environment. Some of you are trying to come into this environment. Some of you, you've been in this environment and you're struggling, but it all goes back to one thing. You can never lead yourself to where you've never been. And if someone is leading you, it's because they've been there. So if you can ascertain, have they been there? Do they have the result that I have? Let me trust in them. I'd rather fail forward than fail within or backwards. If I fail with a leader that has gotten to a destination, I am failing forward. But if I fail without the guide of a leader, I am failing backwards, period. So if you are in this environment, someone is driving you. If you want to become a millionaire, a millionaire has to drive you. You want to become a six-figure trader, a six-figure trader has to drive you. And you have to trust the fact that they were once like you and they understand the journey. Now, the journey is also going to be tough. Just because they've gotten there doesn't mean it's just going to be take and go. No, it's still going to be tough. I am a good driver, but I met traffic. I met distraction. Sometimes I get bumped. In fact, there was a picture, there was a picture I edited yesterday. I know my wife hasn't seen the picture. I'll send it to her. All right. They were all sleeping. And I took a video. They were all sleeping. They were all at rest. But guess what? While they were sleeping, I was battling. A car almost brushed me. Okay? I'm a driver. Already know how to get to the destination. But guess what? The journey does not take its obstacles away. All right? It is you that use experience to avoid the obstacle or beat the obstacle. The obstacles never go away. You want to write that down. You want to know that. The journey is never going to be smooth, even if it's a nine-figure trader that is that is your, your coach, that is your mentor, all right? That is your friend, that is your father. It won't take the problems away. The problems are constant for your experience. They are constant. They are always, they are beautiful for the journey. 
it never goes away. And you can't tell when problems are coming. They are orchestrated, they are built based on your level of growth, based on the path you take. All right? Do you, do you guys understand? So I'm just trying to use that picture as, as a message that irrespective, so we're talking about the journey, the process of being an entrepreneur, being a trader, being a successful trader. All right. So you guys have found me a worthy mentor to lead you in this environment, or you're trying to come and look at me. Oh, do I have what it takes? Now, the truth is I've been in this journey for four years. Okay. I've gotten to a level where I've had massive success and I'm educating people on how to have massive success and people are having great success. It may not be as massive as being great. All right. But one of the things is through the journey, I want you guys to understand that even as me today, I still get bumped in trading. But guess what? All right. The bumps don't feel me. They don't affect me. Because why? I have been bumped and I overcame. And I'm here today. All right. The bump made me who I am. The loss of accounts. All right. How do I know about risk management? Because I've blown several accounts and I practice proper risk management based on the blueprint of knowledge. And I got an environment where I don't blow accounts again. So did the, did the, what causes the blowing of, of account? Did it go away? No, it's still there. But what happened? I overcame. I, be, I was built up. I practiced what it is I was taught. And I got results. That's what made me different. Okay? So just because you are in that environment doesn't mean you should abuse the privilege of problem. It will come. Accept it. All right? Accept it, but trust in one thing. So that's why I talked about proof of mentorship and proof of results. So what is really mentorship? You may not know how to trade today, but buy. So the first thing you want to key into, I want, I want to say this to those who are trying to come into this environment, or you're listening to this, you're wondering, what, what are you guys up to? Okay, people fail in this environment because of the negligence of, you, you need to, of mentors. They neglect the place of a mentor in one's environment. All right. So Cambridge is who he is today. That's why I always give credit to the people that have blessed me. I wouldn't be trading today. What is the style of my trading? I still give credit and flowers to Christopher Derrick. All right. He's the one that built me up. Guess what? I've never had a conversation around trading with him. Okay. He doesn't even know he's the one that impacted me to become a very powerful trader today. But one of the things I can tell you in the journey is that I picked him. So someone asked me a couple of questions. So I'm, after this, we're moving into the question and answer. Then I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the chat. All right. So someone said uh, that, that would be digressing. Let me not go there. <laughs> a bit. So I pictured mentorship when I came in because I knew from the spiritual upbringing, there's something the scripture has taught me. Follow those who through faith and perseverance. There's a character of achieving faith and perseverance. All right. You're going to inherit your next level in life with the presence of faith and the ability to what persevere. Persevere you a high level of patience. You persevere on, on tough environment. Okay. So you may not have money, but you want to learn the skill. It's tough. The not having money makes it tough. But how do you beat it? You have to persevere through the challenges. All right. You have to persevere through the back and forth. It takes faith to persevere. So it says, follow those. They know you may not have it in the beginning when you get started, but it says, follow those. It means it's going to be easier for you when you follow those, all right? Be a follower of those that faithfully and through perseverance inherit the kingdom. So when I came in, I knew I was a star. I know how to do things very smart. I didn't, I didn't bring in my, my, my baggage, all right? Why am I telling you this? I know who I am, okay? I was smart in trading, but guess what? I was I humbled myself to the process of learning. I had to say, Kenry, you've never done this before. So you are going to redo what it is you know. I had to subject myself to three, five hours a day, three to four, five hours a day of learning from a new person that I'm not even seeing. Humility. All right. I had to stay in the environment. Like the baby was sitting in the car. All he did was stay in my environment. He enjoyed everything that I gave. He just stayed there. I was sleeping training. I'll sleep. I'll wake up. All right. My morning routine after meditation, everything. Wake up into trading. Learn. Go to work. Teach trading. All right. Come back home. Learn. Sleep in trading. So it's something that I did. I had to give myself to it. Mentorship. 
I didn't say, oh, you know how to do it. Come and trade for yourself. Start growing account. All right. No, I followed and modeled the process of a leader. Today, I am a leader. I want to tell you guys this. In every success you are going to have, you have to lead. I need everybody to put the word lead on the chat. Leadership is required for high level income. Put the word lead. All right. Drop the word lead on the chat. Okay. So, uh, yeah, leadership. But one thing a lot of people don't know, you cannot lead if you cannot be led. All right. You cannot lead if you cannot be led. The absence of being led, all right, is failure. People only fail because they cannot be led. Society is leading you. Everything about life is leading you. When we talk about the right direction, if you come into the right direction, is the right direction leading you? So the only proof so I'm giving you guys is expo between now and the next six months. The only proof that you are being led is when you have what proof of mentorship. Follow what you're being told. Break out the plan. Kenry says, if you want to master this, do a repetition of 21 hours. Go over it 21 times. All right. Do a trade of 100. See your result on a demo trade. Do you have the proof of mentorship? Do you have that result? Three months after, Kenry has said it six months ago. Three months after, six months later, you don't still have it. All right. He tells you, don't trade on your live account until you have proof of your own of result of being led. You're trading on your live account and you're blowing money. And guess what? Six months later, you say you're tired of trading. You don't have proof of being led. You cannot be the leader. I am a proof of leadership. I've been led. I'm still being led. Despite my high level of success, I am still under tutelage by mentors in either trading business or entrepreneurship. I am still being led. I'm my highest mentor, all right, is God himself. Because why? God is still looking out for the humble. At the end of the day, your character has to speak humility. Money is a distraction in this environment. Okay, the, the, the first thing you picture, if you picture the first thing to be money, boom, you lost it already. Okay? Picture. So I need to be led. Proof of mentorship. Over the next six months. So two things we do in our environment is I will help you earn money and we help you learn the skill set. All right? If you want to earn money, earn money by leverage. What does leverage mean? As easy and beautiful as this solve the problem you're going through. A lot of people, why do you feel? Okay, I want to ask this question and humbly give me an answer to this question. How many of you want to have results in trading? Let me know in the chat. Everybody say me. Okay, everybody's saying me. Everybody wants to have results in trading. All right. Must it be your result that you need to have? The problem, people find instant gratification in self-results. They want to lead themselves. All right. So you come into an environment. So today, I want to give you a an info today we sent in our environment i all right the double blessing nation okay today i gave three three swipe option all right doctor actually gave two swipe option in my live class we have two trades doctor actually had two trades okay so in the double blessing nation if you are connected you probably have been exposed to about nine oh today but some people had a lesson in their trading. Some people lost money today. And they do that every day. And we do this every day. We give you ideas to win. And we also give you the skill set. Why are you losing? Because you're trying to lead yourself. People feel in this environment just because of that. They don't have the empowerment, self-empowerment to follow through instruction. It's hard. So if you could beat the instruction mode, you're going to be a success in this environment. All right. So give yourself, tell yourself I'm humble to follow it. Two things I've done. I tell you, if you want to trade in the next six months, open an account for leverage, then open a small account for practice. If you can't trade them, 
open a small account for practice and begin to document your practice. Follow the instruction, document your practice. Over the next six months, see if your practice is aligned with the results. Because if you follow our trading, you're gonna get our result. Don't add your trading to our trading. It's gonna be mixed because you're a baby, we are matured, all right? So separate it so that you can document and say, oh, I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. You would know after three months, you check your result. Okay, it's getting close. Okay, they are getting 80%. I think I'm, I'm still I'm still within 50 to 60. I'll get better. Because if you have proof of mentorship, it's going to lead to your proof of result. Does that make sense? I need everybody to put sense on the chat. All right. Does that make this is why people fail? People fail. People will continue to fail. All right. Because if I ask anyone, why are you blowing an account? Have you ever blown an account with my trading for the last three months? I rarely see anybody who's going to come out and say yes. Strictly my trades. So, uh, Kevin, you call the trades and I blew your account. No, people grow. In fact, when I see this result people send to me, sometimes I'm intimidated. And the only thing I can tell them is just keep it up till you master how you do it on your own. Okay, so that is one of the things our environment offers. All right, for you to earn and learn. When you when you want when you want to learn, all right, and you also want to earn, earn by leverage, all right, and focus on the learning. Any question? So I'm going to give room. I know some of you have questions, okay? During the week, we talked a lot of things. You guys have questions. We're going to do the next couple of minutes for questions, all right? And so if you have any question, if I told you you had any question, I said bring it to this special session. Just bring it on. Any question that has to do with uh, uh, trading, growing of account, risk management, just shoot it on the chat. We're going to look at questions we grow by you know uh, uh by fellowship okay relationship is by fellowship so sometimes one of the reasons i'm doing this is i realized one of the set the challenging thing i had or the mindset that is sold to us is humans are attached to leadership so it means when I was learning the skill, okay, if I had an opportunity to mirror questions and I get answered the way I want, I probably think I'll be faster, but I didn't. So I didn't give myself an excuse. Okay, so when I when I came into this environment, one of the things I said, I was going to be humble to, I'm going to give people room to assess, ask questions so that they could feel that thing I think that was absent when I was learning this, because I, I could be exceptional. Many people can't be like me. So if I give you that room, all right, Please take advantage of it to your okay. Louis say hey, hello, Cambridge. Please, how do you identify the structure? Okay, how do you identify how do you identify the structure of a 15 for and now see let, let's do this, all right? Because sometimes our writing can be different from our our writing can be different from our intentions, okay? So one of these I'm going to do is, if you have a question, shoot it, okay? So Louis, okay, I'm going to give you, sometimes when we speak it, it's different from when we write it. So just unmute yourself, ask the question the way you want to ask it. Hello, Kenry, good evening. Excellent evening. Are you hearing me? I'm yes, great, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to be on your on your live and broadcast. I've actually learned a lot from you. You're one of my mentors. I love the way you preach about the importance of God in trading, in your life in general. So basically what I would like to know is when I'm analyzing the market, when I'm on your on your live trade sessions at times. I see you when you chat, you know, there are times when you chat, you say, okay, if it gets to react around this zone, he's going to go for a 15 minute, he's going to go for 45 minutes, or he's going to go for a one hour reaction. So that's what I would like to identify. Thank you. All right, good. All right, beautiful. Okay. So uh, it, 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 I think it's not clear based on you know you elaborating on it. So uh, let's just let's just take a look at this. All right. So when it comes to so we have charting, we have price action. Okay, and based off on the strategy, we have time frame. 
So you could do the strategy on a 15 minutes time frame. What does it mean? So let me go to Liberty just to simply explain what you said right now. The deeper the time frame, the stronger, the stronger the move. It means the more deep the move. Okay. The potential of a five minutes is shallow compared to that of a 15 minutes. And 15 minutes is shallow compared to that of a one hour. And one hour is shallow compared to that of a daily. Okay, that is basic of forex. The higher the time frame, the deeper the move. Okay, what I will be getting in a daily analysis, all right, is 200, hundreds to you know thousands of pips. What I'll be getting in hourly analysis is between 30 to 100 pips. What I'll be getting to five to 15 minutes is between three, five to 10 pips. Does that make sense? So that shows you the deeper the time frame, the stronger the move. Also, capitalizing that into the strategy, all right. If you see a five minutes time frame aligned, okay, based off on binary options. So this question, I believe, is from the environment of binary. So I'm just going to do this right now. So if we have, so let's say I want to look at AUD JPY. So AUD JPY, the sentiment is a bullish sentiment right now. So if I want to know the areas, the different, so the strategy here right now that I'm showing, I'm sharing my screen, all right? Okay, yes, I'm sharing my screen, all right? Am I sharing my screen? Okay. So you guys that are here, you're just looking at my face. So I'm going to end here on. Uh, so we've started chatting. Uh, so let me cut off from from IG. So, so distracting me. The beauty of my face is distracting me also. So guys, what is the the advantage of knowing your areas? Chatting helps you know your areas, the strength of your areas based off on price action what time frame so if i'm on the five minutes every floor is based off on the five minutes lookout so if i'm chatting that's why i said okay how do i know the area is in one hour or is it 15 minutes or is it daily area it's based off on time frame so chatting helps me know what what area is that zone so so how do we chat i go on the daily all right so i know all right so what is chatting? We, we we take a look at the the areas of the previous candle. So the candle. So I'm looking at this market right now. This is where the candle got to and sold. So this is a ceiling, and this is a ceiling. The previous candle. So this is a daily area, and this is also a daily area. All right, ceiling. Okay, this is a daily floor. So, however, in any time the market comes to this areas is going to have a strong reaction why it's a daily area can you see a, rep a a repetition of what i just said is today today the market bought up to this area what did it do did it sell or not you guys let me know in the chat so this is where we got the daily today the market bought up to that area did this sell or not so the market sold here yesterday did this sell here today Yes or yes. Let me get let, let me know on the chat. Why? Because so there yesterday. Does that make sense? Even if the sentiment is against it, it's so because daily areas are stronger. Now, the same goes to if the market comes down to this area, it means it's also going to buy because that's a daily area. Daily are stronger than one hour, one hour stronger than 15 minutes. So how do I know? So you, do you guys know now that because I charted this on daily and I know that 651 is a daily zone. Is it making sense? Because I charted it. So charting helped me know the areas, all right? So likewise, if I want to know one hour areas, presently right now, this is the reaction on one hour. This is the ceiling. It means in the previous hour here, the market sold, all right? And here the market bought. So it means market would react one hour wise. Though there's no much volume in the market, but I'm just trying to give you guys as an interpretation. All right. But one thing I do know is if I'm trying to buy this market right now for a continuation, this is actually a one a daily area. So it means if this market comes to this area, I'll pick a buy up. And what does that mean? Because it's a daily area, I could expect the market, all right, to move for the next one hour, and even probably up, okay? 
that is if the bullish sentiment is still on it. That could give me a good leverage that this area, because it's a it's, a, it's an area the market what open is a strong area. Okay. I'll be looking at that area for a buy. So that's how I'm going to get my area that if this market comes to this area and strategy aligns. So what is strategy? So I'm in a one hour time frame right now. Okay, so what strategy? Four greens for a buy, all right, for a sell. So we're looking for a buy because the sentiment is bullish. So if on the hourly time frame now the market comes to green, stochastic, RSI comes to green, stochastic. All right, I get a green arrow. Sentiment is green. That's a green. So the charting area now gives me my area of flow. What does that mean? It means that trade has the capacity to run for the next one hour, for the next three hours, which is three candle rule. Because I'm on a one hour time frame. Does that make sense? Okay, it means that trade, that if it comes down to green, so green represents the buy zones, all right? So if stochastic comes to green, RSI comes to green, and this market comes to this previous ceiling, the market always tend to buy the previous ceiling of an uptrend. It means I have a good formation for the market to do a continuation on the upside. So, and I can run that trade for an hour and three hours. So that is on the one hour. So if I'm doing this on a 15 minutes, I can run that trade. So let's say it comes down, so already, Okay, so this is a one hour area. All right, stochastic is at green, RSI is at green. It means this area is already ready for a 15 minutes move or a 45 minutes move, depending on the level of the sentiment. If there was volume in this market, this one hour area, you know, this area I marked is a one hour area, right? Excuse me. And because it's a one hour area, it's a one hour floor, stochastic, the strategy has gotten to the green. RSI is still at the green. We got an arrow, and you can see a green around there. So it means this is the market comes to this green support, arrow, stochastic, RSI. The trade has the capacity to go for the next 15 minutes. So you could take a five, 15 minutes, because whenever a, a higher time frame aligns, the closest time frame is. So if I'm taking a one hour analysis, I could take a 15 minute trade because inside of the one hour, 15 minutes will easily get crashed out. Good. So if I'm taking a 15 minutes analysis, five minutes could easily react positively to just hit boom, because it's strong time frame. So this trade has the capacity to move just the same way it, it, it did it here. So the market, look, there were, the market came, if you, if you check this analysis, so if you check here, all right, go down. Can you see that stochastic came to the what? To, to the green, RSI was at the green. That was a flaw and it was a previous ceiling. So 15 minutes aligned. All right, the week when 15 minutes aligned on the area, three hour, three, three, 45 minutes later, the, the market closed above that area. Yes or no? That is 15, 15, 15. 15 minutes did close above the area. Yes. 45 minutes did close above, above the area. Yes. Did you guys, are you guys seeing how beautiful it is? All right, did that answer your question? Okay, was the question answered? So the, the time frame, all right, determines. So if you're doing a 15 minutes time frame, you could take the trade for 15 to 45, which is the time frame and three three candles later. If you're doing and you can also take a five minutes out of it. I don't do five minutes three candle rule. All right, I only do 15 minutes. So when the trade aligns on a 15 minutes, you're sure the trade is going to be moved for the next 15 to 45 minutes. By the end of the day, the reason I'm even doing it is to take a five minutes out of it. Because five minutes, you get strong five minutes reaction in 15 minutes analysis. All right. Does that make yeah, sense? Thanks, Calvin. Yes, it makes sense. You're, Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Any other question? I think there was another question there. Okay. Uh okay. Our five minutes traders are 300 seconds. Okay, how do you take 15 minutes trades on one prime options? Do we use regular options? Amazing, so, all right, yeah. So if you want to, so in one prime option, all right, uh, good. you know, I, I'm limited to, I'm limited to talk about brokers, but let me just say in, in, in theoretical form that you may have a broker like that of one prime that has, fixed time which is seconds so it means at any way you're taking the trade seconds it doesn't go beyond 300 seconds which is five minutes all right that particular time frame is for one to five minutes so and it's fixed 
Now, the next one, it means you can't take a 15 minutes. So if you want to take a higher time frame, you now have to move toward the minutes, which is the regular option where you can ask. And the regular option offers you trade from every five minutes. All right. So every five minutes, it means if you're taking, so let's say the time is 1907, which is uh, 507 now. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Seven, sorry. 707. Wow. Please spend time here. Yeah. Now plus. Okay. 707. If you take a trade on the regular option, okay, it may end in 10 because I think it has a window to 10. So if you set, if you, if you don't, say, you have to choose the 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 one the five minutes option is that for the next five minutes or the next 10 minutes or the next 15 minutes so it's every five five minutes all right till it gets to an hour then before you have the longer one the longer option okay so 15 minutes you can take on the regular so that that's basically you can take a 15 minutes on a five minutes option so there are some trades that will give you so you take it on five minutes all right you switch to and you also want to take it for 15 minutes you now switch to the regular option to go take it for the 15 minutes Make sense? Okay. Now, uh, are they doing say, okay, what if it was a daily area? All right. If you, now, you, I rarely do one hour analysis or one hour areas. The, the only way, if it's a daily area, it's not about the area, it's about the alignment on strategy. So. I may get a daily area here, but the strategy, if it does not align on the daily area, I'm not taking the trade because I am not a technical trader, I'm a strategic technical trader. So if a strategy aligns in a stronger time, time area, all right, it makes sense. It's the strategy that we're looking at. So if it aligns on the 15 minutes, beautiful. If it aligns on the one hour, beautiful. If it aligns on the five minutes, beautiful. Is the aligning on the time frame that really counts. So the deeper the aligning on the time frame, the deeper the move. Okay, does that make sense? So this may be a daily area. This is actually a daily area. All right, just imagine I'm on a 15 minutes and this trade comes to this area. It means 15 minutes time frame plus 15 minutes charting area. That's a strong move. Okay, the trade is gonna move well. Okay. And the charting also tells you the strength of that area. But the, the area may have strength, but if the strategy does not exhaust, because the strategy shows you both exhaustion. So stochastic and RSI shows you the direction the exhaustion market is. So if it's on the green, it means that's the area of bias. If it's on the red, it means it's area of sellers. No matter how strong the area is, if the market is in exhaustion for a sell to drop, it will break that area and keep dropping. So it's not about that area, it's about the you have to check the emotion of trading, which the indicate the, the indicator tell you. All right. Okay. And there was something you once said about taking for 30 minutes when strategy aligns. If I'm doing it 30 minutes, okay. All right. When it comes to aligning, so I believe these questions are for aligning. So let's say I want to take a trade for 30 minutes. I'll do an analysis, all right, and I will leave the time frame on 30 minutes. I want to take a trade for five minutes. I will leave the time frame on five minutes. I want to take a trade for 15 minutes. I'll leave the time frame on 15 minutes. I think this is a better way to answer the question. And if the strategy aligns, it means I can take that trade for what? 15 minutes. If it aligns on five minutes, I think I can trade for five minutes. If it aligns on 15 minutes, 30 minutes, then I can trade the trade for, for 30 minutes. Does that answer the question? All right. Does that, does that answer the question that they're doing? Okay. So if you want to take a higher time frame, allow a higher time frame to align. All right. So what, what broker is better? There's no best broker. It's the one you choose. The best broker is the one you choose. Okay. So find out the one you choose. If you want to choose something, find out for best quality, for good quality. Ask. You, know, you can't ask me because I am not liable to tell the broker to use, actually. All right just find help around the people in this environment that has the capacity to do that like i don't can we get frx session soon okay we're always getting that every day so 
So that would be our question. So we have room. I think we've taken we're taking some beautiful question. All right, in our process. So within the next uh, 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 thirteen to eighteen minutes. Okay, let's look at our chart analysis, our market for the week. All right. So I always like to show you the beauty. I love, I love to show you guys the money in the market. I love to tell you the psychology of trading. I love to tell you the truth, but also I also want to show you how easy it is to be to be someone who's connected to trading. All right. Trading is like fellowship, it's like cutting. You're, you're having a relationship with someone. You know them, they know you. Okay, so when I trade, I come into the market as someone who comes in to meet a friend. All right, even if I want to make money from the friend, I have to put the money on the table first. You know, a lot of people don't know 18 about risk management. That is why they blow money they're not supposed to blow. Okay, so trading every day I come into the market, the first thing I think is I have to sow a seed. I have to lose something to get something. All right, but the question is how much do I want to lose to get what it is that I want today? And the truth is I really lose it when I, when I make a decision. All right. So every day, my margin is between five and eight percent. So when I come to meet my friend in the money, if it's either AED, JPY, or it's uh, Euro USD, if I want to take a trade, I'll tell you, oh, this trade, because it's a five minutes area, I'm going to give you one percent. I'm giving you one percent. Let's see who's going to win based on what the analysis. So I do my analysis, I set my area, I give it one percent. All right. If I beat the market, it pays me. If it beats me, I leave the money. Okay. I may decide to shoot another risk. Trading is a game, but it's a game for the learned. All right. So one of the things I do, I don't just tell you, you come make money. I also teach you how to lose money, because the consciousness of losing money rightly is what makes you a successful trader. Does this make sense? All right. So within the forex environment, so let's look at some activities that have happened today. All right. So two things that I always, I always talk about the market. The market always have a way of buying the previous meaning of an uptrend. So I always like to talk about trend. I always like to talk about, I will remind you of trend trading. When you know me, know me for trend trading. But the only way I can understand the market is to understand the trend. I saw a video today on Instagram. All right, a lot of people were surfing. There were about a hundred people surfing. Okay, and they were waiting for the and they were waiting for the tide to come. You know how people surf. And when the tide came, only two people got into the tide out. A lot were flushed out from the tide. All right. It means there's something we call positioning. I need, all, I need you guys to write positioning in the chat. Because of the busy escapade of people trying to make money, they are not positioned. Therefore, and they don't understand the trend, they get flushed out. All right. You have to understand that this market, you have to be well positioned for the market. And the only way you're going to be well positioned for the market is if you know the market. You guys want to know the market today, all right? Who do I want to know the market? So there's a way I learned how to know the market, all right? Who know on the chat? So three things I want to show you guys today about knowing the market. Number one is the trend. Know the trend, okay? Number two, know the history of support and resistance. Number three, know price action. All right, know the trend of the market. So for whatever you want to trade, what trend, what direction is the tide going? All right, so this market right now, what direction is the tide going? Based on this time frame, what direction is the tide going? You guys talk to me in the chat. So the moment I know the direction of the tide, I'm on a 15 minutes time frame. So the moment I know the direction of the tide, so this is what we call a tide. The market is flowing, it's like a river flowing off. All right, so now that I know the tide, what is the history with support and resistance? All right, so this is where the tide started. I'm just showing a simple way to analyze the market based on the present trend, okay? So this is the history of the tide. This started from here. Here it was a down tide. Here it started moving upward. So I need to understand the history of the tide. So let me show you. Based on, on what? Support and resistance, all right? So first, if the market is going up, okay, I'll take a resistance. So this is a resistance. Where, what is a resistance? A resistance is where the market sold, all right? So guys, watch. Did the market sell here? So that's the red. I need you guys to watch. All right. Where 
is my coloring. Okay. So let me make that a red. It means the market sold there. All right. Now guys, watch. I want to show you guys something. When the market sold there, what did it do? It sold and it bought here. So this is a what? Flop. So I'll make that what? Blue. Watch. So what is the next thing I said? Know the history of the market based on support and resistance. In the history, the market had what? A support here and it had what? A resistance here. How do I know that? It's done it. When it came here, the market sold. All right? It sold from this area, actually. All right, now watch. So it sold from this area and it bought from this area. Okay, the market also bought from here. So this is where the buying started. So this is how to learn support, know the support. Now begin to bring it up. Something else will show you. Now it's going up, right? So here is the ceiling. Okay, so let's see that as a red. Now the market came down. It came down. Where did this market buy? It bought at what? The previous ceiling. All right. It bought at what? The previous ceiling. Had a little extension, but that was a previous ceiling. Okay, you can see these areas were ceilings. This was a ceiling. So these whole areas were ceiling, and that's why the market bought. We put the line here. Can you see that here was a ceiling? If I stretch it out, did the market had a ceiling here. Yes or no? The market had a ceiling here. So where did this market bought? It bought at a previous ceiling. It's called price action. That is price, all right, acting a previous ceiling. When the market is going up, a previous ceiling will tend to be a new floor. So that's one, all right? So this is this is one price action activated here based on the previous ceiling. Now watch another one. This was a previous ceiling, right? What is this? Price action activated to activated, activated, previous ceiling. As long as the market is going up, a previous ceiling will become a new floor, all right? So resistance, if the market is up, if the market is above resistance, it becomes a new floor. Does that make sense? Now I wanna watch, so let's, let's see again. So the market sold here, all right? So this is a sell area and the market. So let's take this new floor now. So this is a new floor, right? Let me got blue. Because you're still gonna use this. We're just gathering history, right? So this new floor, what happened? Price action. Did it became what? A new ceiling. A new this new ceiling, this previous ceiling, did it become a new floor? It's making sense, right? Is it making sense? Okay, now watch. The market created a ceiling around here. It's just to show you price action, support resistance, or am I drawing out the support resistance where the market has sold before? I'm not creating it, I'm just drawing it out. All right. Okay, so this area was ceiling. Can you see that this area, this area is a ceiling? After this ceiling was the next ceiling. This area was the next ceiling. After this area was the next ceiling. This area was the next ceiling. After this ceiling, this is the ceiling. Now let's take it further. All right. Because the market is still climbing up. When the market finally broke this level of ceiling, what happened? It made the ceiling a floor. So can we say that the market responded to what? Price action. Okay. So let's say I didn't see this. Where did the market come to buy? Why right there, blue. Blue, blue, blue. It's still a floor. It's still picked the floor. All right. Now watch. This is a ceiling. When the market came back to that ceiling, this is the ceiling after this one, right? So the next major buy, where did they happen? This ceiling. All right. So as long as the, now we see market going sideways, but still in a, on an uptrend. So all I just need to do is identify the next ceiling. After this ceiling, there's a ceiling here, right? After this ceiling, what is this ceiling? This is the next ceiling. After the market respected, respected this ceiling, what ceiling did this market respect? Are you guys seeing this? So this is price action, detailed. When price is in the future, it tends to respect the previous ceilings. 
it has created step by step. It may not be in a range format, but it will definitely respect it. That is where strategy comes in. Strategy will not show you which time frame is respecting which previous price action. So you know when the market came here, this will probably be a five minute analysis. When the market came here, this will probably be a one hour aligning. And after that, can you see the market moved up hours later because it came deep. The deeper it comes, the deeper it goes. That's what time frame is about. All right. Now you check the market broke. After the market broke, this 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 is the next one, right? When this market now watch, can we see how this market responds? So this is repetition. So this is a ceiling. Market broke that ceiling, made it, made it. Eventually, now market started coming down. Where did it come to? Also the same ceiling. All right. Now market is breaking new areas. Now watch. So if I want to get what will happen here, all right, I just need to draw out what are the next ceiling. So there is a ceiling around here. There is a ceiling around here. All right, guess what happened? Can we see why market bought here a couple of minutes ago? All right, the market bought because it broke that ceiling and came to retest the previous ceiling. Market is still respecting price action as long as this market goes up. So let's say market is coming down and I want a deeper time frame move. Where is the deeper time frame move? The market will come to what? This area. So if market comes to this area, I'll be looking out for what? A bullish move within this area for a bullish continuation as long as this market keeps going up. It's very easy to identify trade. It's to enter the trade. That is the problem for a lot of people. And that is really where strategy comes in. All right? So there should be a strategy. of. So I tell people, learn the skill set. Develop the strategy. All right. The developing of the strategy has to do with you can't lead yourself to where you've never been. Someone has to teach you, someone has to show you. You need a guide. So that's why we have the double blade. I know many strategies. In fact, if I show you, if you go on my YouTube, you see that I've traded with several strategies. At every time, we're always trading with strategy and we're looking for the best because in trading, all right, trading response, you can only make become successful in trading through strategy. So I know what I am taking when the market gets here. I know what I'm taking when the market gets here based off on my strategy. All right. So, and that is really what community does to you. I'm just here to teach you to identify that trading really, because a lot of people don't really know how trading works. My goal in this course is to show people, this will now help you make your decision. You mean this is how easy people make money? So now, question, question is, Kendry. So within today, we've identified spot off. So today, I, I call that three trades. So another thing for you to know that is, so let me let me log in. All right. So you guys watch. So how do you guys know people make money here? So let me stop sharing this. Is my screen showing up? So in our live session, all right, so I'm first gonna show you how people get to make money being in an environment of success. So today I call that three trades, watch. So this, this is a tool that when you get into our system of mentorship, you're gonna get access to this tool, all right? So today, these are today is what 14. I wonder why people will be struggling. Today's today's 15, right? Today is 15. Okay. If you if you check, it's not showing yet. It's delaying. Is the screen showing yet? Not yet. Let me wait. My screen is a little bit behind. It's a little bit behind. Okay, hold on. Let's just wait for it. Streaming is behind. Yeah. You're probably looking at my video. It's changed. This is different from what is showing on this. Okay, good. It's behind. Can you guys see it now? All right. Can you guys see it now? Let me know. Okay, good. So a lot of people are in this system. What am I showing you? I'm not even talking to the new people. I'm not trying to sell this to people who are outside of the system. I'm showing people who are in this system. All right. In a day, you need probably two, three trades to hit a, a target of two to three percent. Some some can go as five percent. 
depending on what risk you're using. If it's 1%, you need three trades to hit your 2% goal, all right? If you're using 2%, you need three trades to hit the 5% goal. If you're using 2%, you need two trades to hit a 3% goal, all right? Now imagine today, which is on the 15th, if you check the date here on this, only today, all right, the swipe option team has called out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trades, all right? Eight trades, why is this one still active? Let me look at it. Okay, that's, that's wrong. That's on the doctor. Okay, it's yet, to, it's yet to update. Eight trades, six win, one discarded, one active. Okay, I stop sharing. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. Is it sharing now? It's, it's loading up now. Why is this? Please come out of this guy. All right. It's still loading. All right. What, what am I trying to say? Today, we've got our eight trees. Three were mine, two were doctors. All right. Uh, what do you need? Two trades. Two trades. All you need, we give you the area you should buy. All right. Now, that's for your live account, to grow your live account. While you're practicing this thing, we're teaching you every day. Take out a free sheet demo account to practice this, but make money every day. Do you know what it is to leverage and make 2% every day for the next one year? You may not get it every day, but let's say three times a week, you hit 2%. And overall, in a week, you hit 6 to 10%. It means in a month, you're doing 40%. You compound that for a period of six months. You know what you're going to look like in five years? You're going to be a different person financially. You know, a lot of people don't love to let, hear how long it takes. All right. But if you do something good consistently over a period of time, in two, three years, you're going to be different financially. But what a lot of people, like I said in the beginning, what they don't know how to do is they, they you have to subject yourself to being, to be tutored, get results. All right. So don't jump into, because I, I know I've been showing so many people potential. I, see, when I do this thing, I don't, I, don't, I don't care what you want to do with it. My goal, what God told me is pass the knowledge. There are a lot of people that need it. He didn't say everybody needs it. So I don't care what you do with the knowledge. I only care about who God wants to use the knowledge. Now, a lot of people abuse knowledge. You know, I know some of my people in this environment, them, why do you give this raw knowledge out? Why, why do you give it out? I say, I don't, I don't give it out because of self-gratification. I do it because I want to empower someone who, who, who are some people that are broken in trading. This may be your part to empower lives, but you're broken. All right, you're broken because why? You never had someone who told you the truth and showed you the truth. You never had a proper mentorship. All right. When God said I should do this, he said, this is not for you. This is for me. There are people who want to see the light. When they see the light, they're going to make true decisions that will take them in their journey. So it's not, this goes beyond us. All right. So if you make the decision, I've given you the path. I tell you that this thing is easy. The path you take is left to you. You cannot beat the process. Nobody has. All right. What's beating the process? You want to cut corners. Just because I show you how to buy. You want to go practice how to buy. Guess what? You're going to get it right. But success comes from an environment. It's your decision. Okay? You don't have to get beaten, beaten, beaten. You can't shortcut the already shortcut process. Do you guys understand? All right? Put in a five if you understand. So I put out this wealth. I could show you principles of winning. But what it takes to win, you cannot lead yourself to win. And that is really why people are broken. Okay, so if you feel, oh, you love, you've seen the potential, you love what it is we do, you want to buy into the system of being mentored and coached, buy into it. Some of you are in this system, but you're not under mentorship. What is, now this, I'll close with this, all right? I, I really don't want to share, I don't, I, I, I told myself I'm not going to really be talking 
too much about you know because people always have an, an angle all right am i have i stopped sharing okay people always have an angle they always give excuses to what they are feeling all right now this is it mentorship is a choice you make someone asked me earlier i thought the person was going to be here and ask that question all right someone asked me earlier can you be my mentor how many of you how many of you want me to be a mentor you've asked that question now let me give you guys the truth all right mentors don't pick mentees all right i don't choose people as my mentee they attract me to mentor them it's like it's like a bond like so this is this is what i see as mentorship if we are already in line i would not show you if you're bearing fruit so mentorship is chosen by responsibility people are taking action you don't choose hey what is it going to cost you for your mentorship all those things that are sold by that's not mentorship all right if you are in my environment and i'm giving you value to be successful you take value and you produce results you're naturally going to attract me because I'm always looking to bear fruit with what it is that I sow. So you're part of my seeds. I would want to nurture you so I bear more fruit. It's chosen. You choose me. You don't ask me to be your mentor. You make me your mentor. Do you guys understand? Do you guys get different? All right. So I mentored a few. I have people who regard me as a mentor, but I'm only mentoring a few people. Those few people that pick the training and the make use and they are accountable, they are documenting, they are getting results. It's not my thing with you calling you, telling you what to do that is going to make you successful. There's a drive that will attract you. It's your result. That's that proof of result from the proof of mentorship is what we're going to attract the mentor to you. So guess what? Christopher Derrick is my mentor, but he's not mentoring me. But I am a proof, I have proof of his mentor because today, all right, I am a greater successor. What am I trying to tell you? You don't need to ask me to be your mentor. I'm already in the environment to so choose me. You want to be in my environment. Get in the environment where you hear my voice, you hear my training, follow what it is that I do, document it and give me results. I will see it when you have it. It's very easy. All right, it's very easy. This is the truth. A lot of people will tell you, oh, come and buy into my mentorship to cost money this. No, some of them are good, but I think originally, all right, there are people who would mentor you all right and you would attract them as mentors without a cost okay and the only cost is the decision you make being and the decision of environment so if you're already in mind that's why i can do this call for different organization it's not about my this is not a team call this is not a team training this is just an environment to pass value and to let people know the truth so a lot of people have been struggling with this thing called mentorship they think they need to be under my umbrella before they become successful it doesn't work that way because i'm telling you the truth if it worked that way all right if it's that way then i'll be lying to you you could look me in the face and say every you i like why i never had the chance to meet the person who i learned this trading that i'm teaching you guys and we we've only had a conversation and you only replied me once that is after i've become an educator the number one educator on the platform and i guess he, did, he didn't still even reply me because i don't know i, I actually don't know but he just said, wow, amazing. He replied once. But he's my mentor. I learned everything I learned in trading from him, coupled with other things. All right. Did I, did I say, oh, I need to be in your group. I need to join your Zoom classes. You guys, you guys understand? So you could be in your group. You could be in your leadership, and you'll be mentored by Kenry. All right. You want to attract my mentorship? I would look for you. I'll talk about you. <laughs> okay. Does this help a lot? Does this help you guys? So that's why I always tell people I would repel you. Maybe after you join this group, someone invited you and you'll say, okay, I, I love this man. Because some, some people do that. I love this man. He's so honest. I need to be in his group. That's deception, self deception. All right. I'm, I'm not the kind of person that would accept that. All right. Because I know it doesn't lead me anywhere. Okay. I'll be breaking the laws of work. 
I won't help you. My mentees can tell you this. I delegate you to. If you think you get close to me to get my attention, you feel. I'm, I'm, it's better to work for me from afar than work for me close because I'm strict. That's why I choose them because they already understand me. So you guys have that. If you are in your group, all you need to do, I'm on go live. I am here. I give you guys access to interact with me on Instagram. People talk to me and I answer them. Or I even do some group calls if, if a lot of time. So it's not for me, it's about the organization, it's about the brand. All right, it's about the movement. It's not really about Kendrick. All right. I always love to sow in people's life to see that the vision to impact a thousand families to, to seven figures is done, irrespective of where you are. So stay comfortable, just stay late. All right. I'll bring us to a close today. This is the best feed. I think you wanted to say live. God today. Now see and understand how to attract your membership. I am going to put in the work. So look out for me. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Okay. Did you guys get value for today? That'll be my time. Uh, yeah. We, we spent an hour plus. All right. And I believe you guys got value. It's actually an environment of truth. No matter how harsh I probably would have been or how blunt, you guys just know I got the best. I got the best heart. I got the best interest. So you guys should win. If you're not winning, if you're struggling in life and you're in this environment, you're struggling in life. See, I'll tell you this. This is an environment you can begin to create cash flow and to multiply your cash flow. There's no better environment like what, what it is we have in trading if you're being tutored and mentored, all right? So you want to be part of this, get back to a person who placed you in this call and begin to negotiate with them immediately on how you can be part of our system so that you can start getting direct access to our live resource that will make you grow in learning the skill and also earning money as a beginner in this step-by-step -step process. All right, get back to the person who placed you. If I'm the one who did this, who put you, who, who, who put you in this setup, all right, you want to message me on Instagram, shop right away. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure all of you join our Facebook group, all right, which is um, Kenvry. Just go Kenvry Mo group, all right? Let me see the link. The link is actually below most of my videos on on my uh, uh, YouTube. All right, follow 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 us on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when I drop some value, you guys, are, this video is already recorded on YouTube. All right, I apologize, guys. I really don't pay attention to you guys on YouTube. That's why I dropped the link so that you guys guys can join uh, uh, the live. I think my my baby needs my attention. All right, so I love you guys. Still have a beautiful weekend. God bless you. Bye bye for now.